Welcome to another unboxing video here at the Pedal Guy, and today what we're going to show you is the Dirty Robot. Um, this is a newer pedal from Digitech, uh, and it is quite frankly, just quite simply, a guitar synthesizer pedal is, is what it is. And they really went to great lengths to give this that retro look with like the cartoony robot. And then on the back, it's got all of the it's got all of the strengths and the amount of strength to it. So if any of you are like old school Transformer fans from, from the 80s, uh, this, uh, this might resonate with you a little bit. Uh, but it's pretty cool when you hear some of the sounds that this thing can make. I'm sure you have probably seen some of the videos on this on YouTube from the Vietnam show and from Digitech's website. Uh, but essentially, this is a guitar synthesizer pedal. All right, so once we open it up, let's just go ahead and dump all the contents out here. So you got this neat little groovy plastic cover there to make it all look nice and pretty. Uh, here's your uh, Velcro so that you can uh, attach the uh, you can attach the dirty robot to your pedal board. I have to admit, it makes me giggle a little bit to say "dirty robot" all the time. Um, but uh, here's your uh, here's your your warranty, or at least your reminder to go and register your product, uh, safety instructions, and all that good jazz in here as well. Um, and um, pretty straightforward stuff there. And then we have stomp lock. And this is just a, a rubber pad, and what it does is allows you to lock in the uh, settings on your on your um, your pedal here. And this is on I'll found on a lot of the different uh, the different Digitech pedals, and that's so that if you've got it set where you like it, just put this on and go to the gig. And if you kick it, hit it, whatever, nothing's going to happen to it. But if you're like me, you like to tweak. Uh, it's probably better just to keep it off. Um, so in any case here. Uh, we have all the different parameters, which we'll be covering in another video uh, that goes in depth into what this pedal sounds like. Uh, you have stereo in, you have stereo out. Uh, another thing to note that's kind of cool about this pedal is that it does work with both guitar and bass. So it's got the frequency range to work with both of those different products uh, so that you can do some really great stuff with it. If you go online and you look at the manual for the product, uh, you'll notice a couple of things. One, they uh, they go into explicit instructions for how to get it from the pedal out to your amps uh, and other pedals if you'd like. Uh, what they also do is they show you how to get some of the presets going, like if you want to sound like the Cars, or if you want to sound like Tom Sawyer, uh, or if you want to sound like some of the other uh, hot, uh, hot tracks out there for uh, synthesizers. They'll actually show you how to do that um, in the manual here. And there's some really great audio examples there too. But hey, this is the pedal guy and we're going to have our own audio examples coming soon. So in the meantime, if you want to find out more about this groovy pedal, this dirty, dirty robot, uh, just go to thepedalguy.com. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe or follow our Facebook page. So have a nice day.